Hi friends, it's Audrey here. I am back with a layout today. I'm using the, I'm gonna uh, scrapbook this picture of my husband and I um, from the cauldron from our August date day in New York City. I am using the Solstice Collection uh, from Coco Daisy and I am uh, doing a wreath of a star here. Um, so you can you can kind of see it a little bit. I um, drew the star on my silhouette. I used a pen, a pen feature on my silhouette. Um, drew a star and I'm going to uh, make this into a wreath and you'll see how that comes together. Um, I've done these types of layouts before so I'm pretty much going to just wing it really uh, with how to do it and um, I actually have to pause the video for a second and then uh, and get my punch. So you know what, this will be a good time to flip over to the part of the video um, where I filmed it earlier where I did the paint splatter and I'm showing you how I did the paint splatter. So once that part is done we'll come back and we'll get started with this layout. Hi friends, okay so I have a uh, star here. I'm gonna make a star wreath using the Solstice Collection from uh, Coco Daisy. So I'm gonna zoom in here to show you the star. Let me find the zoom here on my camera. There we go. Okay. So there's a star. You can see what I did was I, I just traced a star on my silhouette and rather than cutting it, I uh, used uh, one of the markers that you can get for your silhouette cutting machine and I traced it. So this is going to be the, the, the base for my wreath. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm using my uh, Prima Marketing Color Bloom 2 uh, shimmer sprays here to kind of create a little bit of a background. So I, I like to use these as a splatter. Um, I'm fairly new to these sprays, but um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, splatter a little bit on the background and my I, my plan is, and you'll see, is to um, punch out the paper to make this into a star wreath. So I'm using wild raspberry, pink crocus, and um, spring dandelion. So they're kind of springy colors, but they're perfect for the uh, collection. So I'm gonna, I want to fill some of the white space. So I'm just a little tricky here, but I'm just grabbing this. You know what, let me shake this up a little bit more. Okay. Okay, now obviously these are intended to be used with the spray, and there is a way that you could spray very lightly and get this splattered effect, but to be quite honest, that never works for me. Never. So I always end up getting some sort of like yuck pattern. Um, Okay, and um, just so you know before I end this video, what I'm using here in order to catch my splatter is an old uh, Coco Daisy box that um, 
was used for 12 by 12 paper. I think this was the uh, 12 by 12 memory keeping um, box that this came in. So save your boxes because these are perfect for um, using to collect all of this splatter. So all right, let me finish. Um, let me let this layout dry and then I'll hop back in and you can see how I finish it. Okay. All right, I'm back. So you know how I did the splatter. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is punch out circles because I'm going to put um, circles on the trace of the star shape here. And um, I'm using, this is the paper from the three collections. This is from uh, the planner kit and then also the um, memory keeping kit and the memory keeping pocket kit and the uh, I'm blanking the traveler's notebook kit so I'm going to be I think I'm debating between using I think I'm going to use this paper because I kind of like the gradient of it I might have to I'm not sure if I have enough of this paper left um, so I might have to uh, intermix it with a different one but we'll see as we get going so I pulled out um, one a one inch, two inch, and a one and a half inch punch, and I think I'm going to use the one and a half inch punch. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to speed up this video during this part. But what I'm basically just going to do, I'll show you. I'll do one, and then I'll speed it up. Is I'm going to punch out here um, circles. So I think. I'm going to go back and forth here. So this is the one and a half inch punch. Um, and all right, let me get the music playing and let's get this video sped up and I'll come back when we're done. All right, I'm going to pop right back in here because you might see what I'm doing here. So I am um, going to be layering the circles on the star like this. Um, so right now it's just very loose and I'm going to see how many I need if I need to punch more. So let's speed this up and then you'll see if I'm ready. Obviously right now I'm not really making it very strict. Um, okay, let's speed this up and see what I need. Okay, so I have all my circles. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to group these circles by color. Um, and I'm going to then spread it out and glue them down. And I might actually cut the point one. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead again, speed up this video, and get these circles glued down. All right, let me pop in here. See this um, shape? I actually cut it with a with the line there, so it's not a perfect circle. That's okay because what you're gonna do, since you're laying them down and you're layering them, you can um, just cover up that part, so no one will ever know your mistake. All right. All right. Let's get back to this. Okay, so what I'm doing now, because I have some of the circles that are coming off the edge, I'm just trimming them now. And then we're going to get to putting the embellishments together. I absolutely love um, doing wreaths, wreaths in my layout. This is probably the third or fourth one now I've done um, in recent that I've shared, but I've, I don't know, I've maybe done more. Um, but 
I absolutely love the wreath, the wreath design, and this is a little bit of a different um, layout for me with the star, but I think I actually kind of like the way that came out, so you can kind of loosely see the star. So, okay, now let's get started here now. We can put the paper away because we don't need that anymore. All right, so now I'm going to see this part here. I don't like that. Um, yeah, it's going to be the top. Oh, that was the top. All right, so I'm going to layer my photo over, try to layer it over that part, but I kind of want it in the, eh, I kind of wanted it in the center of the star here. Let's see how that looks. Like I said, I actually didn't plan this out before I started creating, so we're going to see how this comes out. Um, okay, so next up, I've got my box, my, my box of Cocoa Daisy here, and okay, so I've got my box of all the different embellishments. I don't think I'm going to use any of the papers. Um, so I kind of, now I'm going to go through and my somewhat, I don't think I'm going to, actually I don't think I'm going to be using the stamps either. Um, so let me pull these out. I love these vellum stars. Alright, so now I'm pulling out embellishments, trying to figure out what I'm going to use, what I want to use. I don't think I'm going to be using the washi. Um, are the stamps. I don't think I'm using the stamps. Alright, so now I'm going to, I'm sifting through the box, going to figure out what embellishments I'm going to use. I'm possibly going to use that. This. Alright. Like I said, you guys are getting this in the raw, because usually what I'll do is I'll kind of figure out what I'm going to do before I start it. Alright, so now I am going to, um, cluster embellishments. So you're basically, the idea is you're just going to make embellishments um, come out of the star. And I'm going to try to do them by color. Um, Alright, so now let's speed up and let me start getting these embellishments on and figuring out how I'm going to do this. Um, Alright, let me pop in here. Alexa, pause. Okay, so if you um, have seen any of my other videos, I usually take all of the die cuts that are in the various kits and I keep them in, um, I have two tins, one's a Giardelli, the other one's a Mickey Mouse one, um, but I keep them in two tins so I can uh, use them. It's uh, It makes it easy access and then I usually like separate and put things I want in the tin. Um, so that's what that tin is. Obviously Giardelli is not from Coco Daisy. So this is, see now this die cut's too big. So you see what I'm doing? I'm kind of layering here, um, layering around here with the, kind of matching the colors um, with some of the embellishments. And I think what I'm going to do is take um, some of these, I might give it a title. I'm probably going to take some of these stars that I, I think that these were in the memory, or the uh, planner kit. So I'm probably going to throw some of these stars like all around here to kind of um, bring it together. Um, so, But right now what I'm doing is I am uh, clustering embellishments and figuring out where I'm going to put them. So you want to put them in the wreath and then out of the wreath. Alright, so I'm going to play my music and uh, speed this video up. Alexa, play.
Okay, so I really like how this came out, and I am definitely going to be using this bow, um, but what I want to do is I, because this is part of the planner um, kit, I'm, I'm not going to be using this. I want to pull this out, so I want to get um, some pliers to pull it out. So I'm going to uh, stop this video, come back at the pliers, I will have fixed the bow, um, and get some glue dots, and we will finish up this layout. Okay? Okay, I'm back. So I took off the little clasp part um, on this cute little bow that has little charms. It is uh, part of the planner kit, but I um, want to use it on this layout instead of in my planner. So that's what I did. So what I have here is I've had these forever, and I'm sure that they're still available. Um, but they're probably a different name right now. They're um, glue spots from Elmer's. And uh, so what I did, because I put a little glue spot on the back, and I'm going to stick it down. Okay. And I'm actually, I'm really happy the way this turned out with the colors, that um, the a little bit more feminine side for me is... Um, the purple and the other side is my husband so I am going to get started uh, finishing up this layout so just a few more things this is a, a special vellum um, adhesive and so you can't when you put because these stars these gold stars are vellum when you put them down um, you can't see the vellum, or you can't see a lot of the vellum in the back of it. So that I got on Amazon a while ago too. I'm sure it's still available somewhere. Um, I have to look for that. Another thing I'm going to be using is pop dots. These are pop dots from my stash. Um, I've had these forever. I use pop dots so often that I just buy them in bulk. Um, so I'm going to be using those to tack some things down and um, or pop pop things up what am I saying I'm getting tired I'm hungry and um, that's it let's uh, speed up this video and let's get going with this Alexa play alright guys I have to um, refill my tape, so I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, so I use a Scotch adhesive dot roller, and I actually went through this entire roll today doing other projects. That was a lot of tape, but okay, so I use adhesive dot roller. I just buy them on Amazon. I buy the refills. Um, and I like to have a lot of them on hand. Dennis! No. We've got a little crafty buddy here. Okay, so let's speed up again and get going. Alright guys, I want to pop in here. The, um, the chipboard does have sticky on the back, and it's a pretty decent sticky, but I like to put a little bit extra on it just to make sure that it stays down on my page. Um, so you see you can stick it right down. So I usually put them on lightly and then you so you can stick it down, but I like to put a little extra on it just to make sure that it it is gonna stay on there and it doesn't move around when I um, move and shake the page. Okay, I'm jumping in here. So I'm finishing up with the embellishments. See this 2020 where it's dated? Um, well, this one says fall 2020, but this is actually a, an, uh, um, 
oh I can't think this is actually from August so it's not really the fall but see where it's dated where it says 2020 I like to use those in current layouts um, when I'm using a picture from 2020 I try to use the dated stuff um, right away so Okay, so I'm putting the last finishing touches on here. So I pulled the blue stars down. This is a pretty whimsical, this is a pretty whimsical uh, wreath here. But um, so I pulled the blue stars down, and I put the blue stars in the entire uh, layout. So even not with the same colors. And I'm also going to do the same thing for the last bit here. I don't think I'm going to put a title. Um, Maybe I have an idea. But you know what? Here, I'm going to do the title and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for the very last little bit. I'm just kind of cleaning my desk space here as we go. Alright, I'm just going to do a very simple title here. Okay, so for the last bit here, I'm going to um, put some sequins on the page. But first I'm going to sign it. I usually look for a spot that needs a little bit more. So we'll sign it right here. Um, and this, just so you know, is not the pen that came with the Salsas kit. The pen that came with the Salsas kit was a beautiful um, light purple, kind of like this color purple pen. Um, my niece, who is five, absolutely adores purple, the color purple, so I gave it to her. Okay. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to scatter... A few of these sequins around here. You might get barley coming to visit here. Yep, I think we've got a barley cat coming to visit. She's getting hungry because it's close to her dinner time. So I'm just using some... I'm using Scotch Tacky Glue uh, to glue this down and then this is going to be done. I'm actually um, pretty happy with how this layout came together. I had somewhat of an idea in my head. I usually always sketch things out and kind of play around with the product before I fully put it down on paper. I usually don't um, don't just go for it without really planning it out and thinking it out, um, but this, this came together pretty well. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out. Uh, it's a little busy, but I like busy. Okay guys, so I'm just going to finish this up here and I think I got like one or two more. Okay, and I'm just, I usually just hold it up, hold it up so I can see it. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Okay, that's it. It's done. Thanks for watching.